That's all right. You're going to turn away and you hope they don't fall off and you have to change your course because that's not good for the kids when you hit them in the head. <laughs> we don't want to, that's for sure. But when they leave them behind, they'll go back and get them. All right, boat. Look at that telltale up there sticking straight out. That's what we want. I don't have any on the uh, jib. <clears throat> so I need to adjust it a little bit. Let her, let her get a little better here. Let's take her in. Come on, wind. There it is. Now, we're at a close haul. All right, we let it out. All right, there we go. See how it, telltale's flying again. You fly your sail, and you want to fill it up. And let your telltale, telltale tell you what, what's going on there. It's flying backwards, and then the part by the mast is full. In the back of the sail called luff. It's not luffing in the wind. So we're pointed the correct direction. But uh, I wanted to be pointed a little more to the uh, south here. And we may get our chance. It looks like she's going to shift the wind on us. We'll get the turn back up. Turn it back out there, you know. Where's the wind? Give me the wind where you want to be there, Mary Betty. All right, I'm gonna take this heading for a while. Once we get moving, <clears throat> I gotta get the sail. Oh, look at that. Let's see how she's doing. Okay, okay. We can do that. turn the way the sail would taking me instead of the way I want to go but that's all right we're sailing now now we're going to get the healing over sailing on the wind yeah there we go all right Mary Betty's going now yeah see how far up I can turn it how close hauled I can get just a little more. Yeah, there we go. Trying to miss the end of that over there. There we go. Now we got some wind. It says it's going to be about nine knots today. Or miles an hour on the apps. Google, Google's not nautical. So, yeah, I've been out in about 45 minutes. Here we go, folks. Now we're going. She caught the top of the sail that way. Now we're rolling. She died off a little bit. Get back into her a little bit here. Oh, catching that wake wake of that boat there. We'll get up here out of the way. into a little bit. Yeah. So, if 
If you can tell by now, it's all about our object of faith, where we keep our faith. And it's got to be in Jesus Christ and Him crucified for every, every need that we need. And He is the only way. There is no other way. Alright, now we're going to shift sides because the wind shift. I'm going to keep her going as much as I can this way, point it up because uh, I don't want to hit that, hit that stuff over there. In fact, I can turn, turn it and go up towards the shore over there. That's the thing with the sailboat. You've got to go the way you sail. The wind is going to take you. So now we put the sails on the other side of the boat. Cut it loose over there. Let her come on over. There we go. Let it pop out. Pop on over. There we go. Be ready for the wind. I gotta come up here and keep my lock it in myself. Because I got this winch in the way. It seems like I can't move it. gotta kind of stay graceful yeah learning learning yeah all right let's turn her out of the wind a little bit fill my sails just keep getting stuck in the irons here no no wind I mean, no iron in the irons Got a spider, but I think it might be just my hair, huh? You got scared of your own shadow, kind of like, huh? No, he's a spider, all right. We got him now. He he gone. I think he went swimming. He can go catch a fish or two. We'll be just fine without him. Spiders and snakes, boy. Folks love spiders. Our spiders love boats. Yeah, spiders love boats. I get up to this point here, we'll be able to turn it back down. Kind of go downwind a little bit, get a little faster sail because the wind's kind of over there. But I have to go back and forth here, tack jibe, tack, jibe, run away from the wind, and then I can uh, get my sails full of the wind that God's providing, and we can sail. And that's the other thing. We include God with everything we need. I've been sailing on the other boat, the little dinghy boat. I brought it out here the first time and realized it's a pretty deep lake when you're stuck in the dinghy that... Uh, you know, if you turn over and it goes down, then it, it's going down. It's going to stay down. It's a long swim to the shore. So I did a lot of praying that day, making sure we got back. And when you do pray, you pray and pray to God, Father, our Father in heaven. You don't pray to a man. You don't pray to a priest. You don't pray to anybody else. You don't pray to the Holy Spirit. You pray to our Father in heaven. And, you know, Father, help me get this boat to that point safely in Jesus' name, and that it shall be done. He says, if you ask anything of my Father in my name, of course, it's got to be in the will of God. And he'll get you there and take care of you safely. Like I talked about in the uh, Manitou or Manitou videos about the divine healing that happened. Uh, you can go watch those. I just did the six episodes. How he'll heal you, you know. You ask him. I don't mean heal like this. I'm talking about heal, healing, spiritual, you know, healing health-wise. So I bet all you can hear is wind right now. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sin as we forgive those who've sinned against us. Lead me not into temptation and deliver us from evil. For thine is the king and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. That prayer has been explained and explained on some of my broadcasting by David Borg. If you ever get a chance to look it up on YouTube and find where David Borg is uh, preaching, he goes into explaining it and uh, does a, a great biblical job of it. It comes to win again. And that's our, that's our, you know, that's our example Jesus gave us in Matthew chapter 6. So what, how can we go wrong if we don't follow that example? Just like our life, our livelihood and our, our spiritual life and everyday life should line up with the book of Acts. So people, they want to get in a church, they want to uh, fellowship with other Christians or even take people with them to get them to believe also. Uh, they, they have a manual, it's called the Bible, and it's uh, the book of Acts outlines exactly how the church should uh, be formed and the doctrines that the church should be teaching and, and, and uh, telling everybody 